guys, welcome back to another YouTube tutorial video. Today, I will be showing you how to make a working morph pad. Um, recently on Roblox, I've been looking through and a lot of morph pads from a long time ago, they really just don't work anymore. When you click, like, this is like a piggy morph pad, so when you click the jump scare, um, what it does is, um, it takes the um, jump scare and it keeps on repeating it and it doesn't stop repeating it after you do it. And it's kind of annoying, but today I'm going to teach you how to make a morph pad that doesn't do that and works fully but with the jump scare and everything. So I have this morph pad in the link of description I made and it's basically going to help you make the piggy morph and I'll sh tell you how to make that right now but what you want to do is when you um when you want to move the morph pad around make sure you select everything because if you don't as you could see like it brings the part but as you can see this is the real morph pad right here but that's just the decoration part so you want to make sure that you hover over everything and move it so what we're going to do is first step we are going to put the morph pad somewhere and then we're going to grab a piggy character so for example Let's add this guy as a piggy character. Or, well, no, not this guy. Let's do, we could do this any character we want. So what about pony, if we wanted to? So let's do pony rigged. And then we're going to put him right in front of the morph pad. So after we put him right in front of the morph pad, what we want to do is select the morph pad in the explorer, t explorer tab and drag the qu quack pad aka morph pad into pony as you can see it's into him and if we click play here we'll spawn we touch him and as you can see we are pony but you're probably noticing that we're very slow and that's kind of a problem which we will fix soon so let me turn down this and then as you can see this is the jump scare right now. The animations probably didn't load for you, and as you can see, it's fast now. But likely the jump scare didn't load for you, and the sound probably did. So, but I'll show you how to change this jump scare and the movement, like how he doesn't move like this. It looks kind of weird, not gonna lie. So, what we're gonna do, also, we could change the sound too. We're gonna go into the quack pad on the explorer, I'm gonna open it. You'll see these things, backpack, character scripts, GUIs, remote style pieces, and additional hit boys. Now, if the style pieces is not in there, you have to find the part that's in your character, and you have to put it back in there. Sometimes it glitches around like that. But, there's that. And if we go in the GUIs and open the jump scare GUI and the button, you'll find the hit sound in the sound and the local script which this is the jump scare animation so what we want to do we have to find a good sound for pony as we can do this is we can um exit here let me show you guys what i'm doing real quick so we can exit here and we can scroll back up go to creator marketplace aka library go to audio and we can find the um a pony hit pony sound or piggy pony that'll pull up maybe it might not it might be hard you may have to upload your own audios piggy pony stream pony jump scare so we so basically you have to find a good one so let's do um this one Actually, we're going to go to, um, you could choose this, and then what you do is, um, you go on the top, copy the ID, go back to the game, and then we're going to delete this, okay? And then you go back to game, put this he in here, and then there you go, that's the sound. If we test it, let's test it real quick, then we go into morph, we play it. It's playing pony sound so but the problem may be there may be a pitch in your sound so you, you kind of want to mess with all of this and i'll be right back when i find a good pony sound so as you can see i have found a um i found a little kit in explorer as you can see 
we found a little kit that shows all of the jump scare scans in Piggy, I think, in book one. So as you can see, it's very helpful if you want to, um, if you want this, just search up all Piggy sounds and you'll find a little model. And so this is the pony sound that we want. As you can see, we can play it as a preview. As you can see, it's making some sounds. That's the sound we want. So we're going to copy this. I'm going to go into the morph pad, go into here, go into the sound, and we're going to go copy and paste it there, and it's going to sound like this. <laughs> now we got to mess with the thingies a little bit if we want. If you want to make it exactly how it sounds, you would delete the sound thing. And what you would do, you would go up, grab your thing from up here. This is only optional, by the way. Then you'll bring it down here. It's named Pony. You want to name it Sound. So then, as you can see, it's going to play when you do it. And the hit sound. Now, this is another optional thing. You go in the library and do your things. And you find a hit sound, put it there. Right now, I have this. It's pretty easy. I suggest you get this jump scare sound quit. I'll actually link it down in the description for you guys. But for right now, let's do Pony Carnival Outpost sound. I'm going to take this right from its source. Bring it down here on a button. We're going to delete this hit sound and name this hit. Hit. And then, and if we test it, it's going to go like this. All right, it's going to load. We're in the game and go in. As you can see, it's very slow. We're going to fix that right next. And when we click jump scare, as you can see, it plays the whole thing. Let me close that so you can see and jump scare and there you go now what we're going to want to do is fix pony so we're going to want to go in the humanoid in the properties and we're going to want to fix it so his walk speed is four we don't want that the average human walk speed is 16 i believe i believe it may be 13 but let me test it doesn't really matter we could just fix it so it'll make it so he's not slow anymore oh wow we're on the pony and as you can see Instant improvements. Uh, yeah, it's definitely 16. So we're walking like normal. And if we jump scare right after it, we're walking like normal as well. So we fixed that. But now here's the thing. We need animations for our models. So what we can do is you can make your own animation by rigging it and then using animation editor and clicking on it and like doing it like part by part, like, you know. But if you don't want to do that and you think it's too hard, that's okay. Because if we go to models on the sign toolbox, we will search up whatever our character is and then type ands in the bottom. So then it'll pull up official animations of the model. So if you don't have um, animation editor, but I think everyone does actually. I think it comes with Roblox Studio. Just get that. And if we click on it, as you will see, we load all these these are a bunch of idols now if we don't like these idols we could always switch but i think that's good so what we're gonna do if if we like this what we're gonna do is we're gonna publish to roblox and we're gonna name it whatever it is doesn't matter you don't need description we're gonna submit it let's say pony hit um successfully submitted now what you want to do you see this id want to copy it id copied it says and now we're going to close this out we don't need this model anymore unless we want to make walk animations which we're going to do later back into the model go to that little local script on the side that and then open it animation one change this to the id then we test it and see what happens now we're in we see the model on the side we could also add a theme I'll get into that at the end of the video. This is a jump scare. Pretty smooth, not gonna lie. Pretty cool. Now, I think uh, making the um, animations is a little, I mean, like the real models animations is a little harder though. So, I'm, it's not in the quack pad anymore, I don't think. Yes, it's not. So, what we're gonna wanna do is. We're going to want to go into a box, whatever your character is, R15 or R6. We're going to type R6 animate script. We're going to find it. It's right here. And it's going to click OK. And then put the animate script into Pony. Now, this is going to be all the animations, like the walk, fall, jump, 
idle, run, sit, all of them. And what we want to do is we're going to find another pony animate because that one's kind of bad. Um, we're going to do pony animations. Actually, let's not do this one. Let's, let's do... No, we already did that one. See what this one is. So we're going to go inside. And as you can see, oh, that's okay. Wait, that's the same one. We can keep on finding it until we get here. What's this? I don't know what this is, but you know, you could keep on. I have no idea, but you can keep on looking until you find something that you like, for example. Um, what about this one? Hmm, that's a cool, well, that's a distraction, okay. So if we want the idol to be distraction, we do that. So let me find some good animations real quick. All right, so I think I found some good idol in the animations. It doesn't have to be the exact one you could do. Like for example, if your character's not pony, you could just do parasy animations for. But right now I got pony idol animation. You know what we're gonna do? Published Roblox idol, whatever the name is. Copy this little ID, and this is the important part. We're gonna go back over to our morph. It actually. Um, you can make them not fly, but it doesn't matter. We'll make the idle animation what we just did. We'll make it that ID. Then, as you can see, we are going to click play here. It may mess around, but here. And as you can see, this is the animations that we put. That was right over there on that guy. We put him there. So, this jump scares. The idle's not the best, but you don't... It's fine. You could put any one you want. And then that's good. So basically then you have your morph. If you wanna like change the jump animation and all that, you can. It's not really that important though. And if you wanna add a theme to your character, we can add a hu go to humanoid root part, add a sound, add a sound into it. And you could rename it to be like theme or ambulance. I'm gonna name it theme, and make it so it's playing and looped. Maybe turn it down the volume a little bit, wherever the volume is. Let me search volume. You could turn it down where it's fine like that. Add some little thingies to it if you want, like effects, and put your sound ID and then the theme's playing. So yeah, if this helped you a lot, make sure to like the video and subscribe. We're almost at 620 subscribers, which is kind of crazy. Not gonna lie. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. King out.